Good morning, I'm here with Jim Spike at the Pratt & Whitney Chalet at the Paris Air Show um, to talk about the gear turbofan engine. Um, uh, tell, us, tell us a little bit more, if you can, about the products um, uh, uh, that are part of the Pratt & Whitney gear turbofan engine family. Oh, sure. We're on five aircraft platforms, and uh, we're on the A320neo platform. Uh, we're on the A220, also by Airbus. We're on the Embraer 190 and 195s. We're on the MRJ, which is now called Space Jet. And uh, we're also on Air Coot airplanes. So there's five commercial aircraft platforms that we're on today. Fantastic. Jim, what differentiates uh, the gear turbofan from other engines in the market? Well, I think in general, it's really all the benefits that the engine brings. Right? We've been working on a gear in this engine for over 20 years. When I started at Pratt 45 years ago, we used to simulate gear turbofans. We knew it was the right engine cycle from a bypass ratio and from an uh, OPER standpoint in the engine, we knew we could get propulsive efficiency out of the engines very well. Right. But back then, they were way too heavy. If you grew the diameter of the engine, you had steel fan cases and steel fan blades. And, but today, we have a lot of new technologies as far as engine weight goes. We have composite fan cases, composite structural electric guide vanes, hollow fan blades. And the gear itself has gone from probably 20 years ago weighing 600 pounds down to about 250 pounds. So we're able to drive the weight of the engine down. But we're also able to reduce the fuel consumption by anywhere between 16 to 20 percent, which saves an airline about a million dollars per year per aircraft. It's quiet. Everyone loves how quiet it is in the airplane and how quiet it is flying over neighborhoods. And uh, environmentally, the NOx is down 50 percent. So it brings a lot of benefits to today's world. Following on from that part, that, that point, what what kind of qualities does the geared turbofan have in terms of further development? What are, what are the other, the sort of future growth potential or opportunities with the engine in terms of those sort of advances in, uh, you know, in fuel reduction, more efficiencies and so on? Yeah. So we like to say the engine's got a long runway ahead of it. And this will be the architecture that Pratt Whitney will use in the future. We'll be a geared turbofan provider. And it's nice because our competitors now are beginning to think about gears. So that's always a compliment to me when your competitor does what you have done. We were first to the market on it. Uh, as we look to the future, you know, we've scaled this engine up analytically to up over 100,000 pounds of thrust. So we see no reason we cannot derive engines of that size. So now we need to wait for the platforms to come along, the next wide body airplanes or the new single aisle aircraft that may come up, the new airplane that Boeing's considering, you know, so all those things will really do good here. And one good thing about the Gear Turbo Fan family is we have three family of engines, kind of. We have a small engine of 56 inches in fan diameter, a 73 inch diameter engine, and an 81 inch diameter. And those are all scalable. So things we learn on one engine, we can move across the entire family. So as we grow the engine to its next size, whatever that may be, uh, we can take all the technology and move it right along. And it gives you the scale, I, I guess, at that point as well, to um, identify lots of very smart technology advantages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as we've been testing the engine, we've learned more. And you always learn more as you test, you go in service. Uh, so we've found some aerodynamic improvements we'll be able to make. Right. Small things like that that make a big difference. I understand as well that you've invested in maintenance, repair and overhaul. Yeah. Um, and uh, looking at that globally, where exactly are you focusing your attention regionally, for instance, on, on MRO? Uh, one of our main centers or our hubs would be in uh, Columbus. Uh, where we would uh, overhaul basically all the gear turbofan engines there. Singapore, now our shop in Singapore will be doing A320neo engines. We have a, a shop in Japan with IHI. Uh, Lufthansa has a shop. MTU has a shop. Delta will be coming online shortly. And I'm probably forgetting one, but we're growing the MRO network as we go along. And it's because as you grow your family, right, we're on about almost 500 aircraft now. 
So the family's growing quickly. And the, uh, of course, through life cost is, uh, you know, we know, is uh, uh, a, a big issue uh, where airline operators are concerned, OEMs mm -hmm. and, and all the rest of it. This is taking care of, of, of business correctly, I, I, I guess, in, in terms of the long term. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, you know, you know how the engine business works, right? It's all about the spare parts at the as you move along in service. So yeah, you have to build the shops to do it. You have to build the shops to push engines through on overhaul. So we're, we're prepared and we're expecting it. Yeah, wonderful. Well, Jim, thank you very much. That's, it's fascinating. Thank you for having us here in this wonderful chalet. And uh, thank you very much for telling us uh, a little bit more about the gear turbofan sure. and the, uh, the future prospects of that. It's fantastic. I'm very anxious to see the future. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Well, Thank <laughs> you.